there she is. Hello, princess, again from Port Canaveral. Yes, it is cruise day, and we are back with MSC here to board MSC Divina. Yeah, I know, uh, kind of a been there, done that right now. A lot of people have been sailing on her, but you know what, I had to come out and check things out for myself, see what MSC has done in the last, uh, wow, seven, eight months, or how the experience is different. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, the offer was really, really good, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, well, you know what? Been hearing better things, I'll say that. So I'm here to confirm those. Okay, I, uh, <laughs> I wanna let all the members of the court who are familiar with my experience on MSC Seashore know that I'm going to go into this with an open mind. I'm gonna forget all the transgressions of the past and I'm just gonna let things happen. I will try and not be negative, even though, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I will start off by just pointing out, not complaining that um, I did not get any documentation from MSC. They didn't send me a boarding, uh, a boarding pass in the email. The button never lit up, even though all the checks were green. So basically, I'm walking into the terminal with nothing but my passport, hoping things are okay. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know what? It's fine. It's totally fine. We are here. We are boarding and uh, kind of makes everything okay. All right, time to cross the danger street and uh, I guess get in line. It is an otherwise gorgeous day for cruising. Not a cloud in the sky. It is nice and warm, probably 90 plus. And yeah, I've been waiting for this. I remember complaining. Oh boy, I said it, I'm sorry. I remember cold cruises. MSC Divina spent a lot of time in Miami and I would see her quite frequently uh, boarding other ships, but well, now it's finally my turn. I did not set a timer this time, but I walked into the terminal about 11 o'clock. I think I nerfed the security line, but that's okay, it only cut my time down a little bit. They are asking for your PCR test, but no, an antigen test is okay. They were doing the same thing on Margaritaville. Everyone saying, make sure you have your PCR test, but that's not the requirement. They shouldn't do that because it's very, very scary, especially since this is all going away. So, uh, yes, this is the line to check that, and then there's another line to check in. And uh, after that, oh, they're not dividing it up by status, which is okay for this because it only takes a second and not even Royal or Carnival are doing that. Just good to know, but kind of irrelevant because this is all going away. For everyone chasing status out there, be warned, uh, this is my new Voyager's card, and this is the Yacht Club check-in area. The colors are very similar. 11.35, 35 minutes, terminal to boarding. Pretty darn good, a lot better definitely than the almost two hours it took to board MSC Seashore. I don't know that they did anything different. Maybe it's just that the team here at Port Canaveral are better than Miami. Ooh, wow. I don't want to stir up too much trouble with that thought. Okay, well, I am actually earlier than I thought it would be, but that's okay because I didn't have breakfast. I am going to, I'm going to punt and I'm going to go to the buffet. I know, I know. Uh, from the Calumet Buffet, this is uh, eggplant, parmesan, some baked ziti, that's a chicken cacciatore on the top, with of course garlic bread. Yes, it, it is an Italian, or Swiss, I guess, cruise line. So, well, this kind of makes sense to me. Probably should get something else, all this uh, heavy Italian, the uh, tomato, gonna have to temper that a little bit. Well, look here, it's curry chicken with pineapple salad. Oh boy. For round two, this is just a basic salad with Thousand Island dressing and some chunks of Parmesan cheese. And for the mains, this time we went traditional, some roast beef with mashed potatoes and gravy. Uh, that up on the upper left is a lobster ravioli with more grated Parmesan. And this here is a pasta salad with goat cheese and sun-dried tomato. Oh, yummy, yummy. Finishing off with dessert, we have mango cheesecake, and that looks like a graham cracker crust, oh boy. Carrot cake and lime panna cotta. I'm actually more interested in the panna cotta than I am the lime. Okay, that was pretty good. The carrot cake was moist and rich, and it was an actual cream cheese frosting. The panna cotta, light and flavorful. The lime jello can go, but the best part though was that little cocoa cube. Wow, that was good. And the mango cheesecake was real cheesecake. And yes, it was on a real graham cracker crust. So, I don't know what's going on here. Mm, that was that was darn good. The food, really good. Also, prime rib, good. 
the mashed potatoes and gravy. Okay, good regular mashed potatoes and gravy. That's totally fine. Uh, the salad, pasta salad with uh, goat cheese and sun-dried tomato, really good. The almost star, other than these desserts, was that eggplant parmesan. That was darn good. I am, I hate to say this, you know I do, but I am surprised how good it was. Garlic bread had been sitting out for a while, but whatever. And uh, chicken cacciatore, also. So, I guess maybe we will call it an Italian cruise line and not a Swiss cruise line. Okay, um, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna stop right now because I don't know if it can get any better. And uh, it's time to move on. It's time to go and find a bar. Bell, bar bell, yes. I'm gonna go hit the gym. That's what I'm definitely gonna do. Aha, I was a bit lost. And then I realized that uh, this has not been updated. Sacramento is the old Mexican restaurant that has been replaced by Butcher's Cut. So keep that in mind. The labels are not always accurate. And that's not a complaint. It's just some information. Cruise director Carrie, your staterooms are now ready. And on behalf of our captain and all the officers and crew, we welcome you aboard. Good to hear. This is the atrium. And I never found the gym. Darn. I'm going to go drop the bag off and, uh, well, try again. And yes, you heard that right. The cruise director Carrie is a chick. I don't recall ever being on a cruise with, um, you know what? I'm not going to go there. because I, I wouldn't go there. Y'all realize that, right? Let's do a live reveal. Here we go. It's dark. Okay, there you go. Key in slot. Bada bing. All right, looks good. Uh, yes, I am going to have them separate the beds because um, I prefer it that way. And a fruit bowl. I think this is because I am now Voyager's gold. And... Uh, well, the normal stuff laid out everywhere. And, uh, oh, the remote is wrapped. That's nice. There's the hair dryer, which I don't really expect to use. Totally fine. Uh, screen and uh, bathroom, which is, oh, well, okay, fine, fine. Oh, shelves, exactly what I like to see. Okay, and there we go. Much, you know what? It's much larger than MSC Seashore. And, um... That's interesting. How does it, what the heck? All right, we will figure out the shower door. Oh, wait a minute. That could be brilliant. Plus one for MSC, a complimentary jewelry tracker. It's for Effie, but they actually give you the first thing straight away so you don't have to make the stupid line, which I always skip because there's a line. Okay, this is uh, something that I have to complete. Yes, oh, now they left it, I have to complete it. Ah, they got me. And yes, I know I look kind of like an old man, but uh, there is a reason for this, and it's no, uh, not to yell at the kids to get off my ship. Although, that could be fun. But uh, it's because, well, say goodbye to this outfit. But it's a Star Trek shirt. Yes, I know, I know, I know. However, it is almost like a muumuu. It is much, much too large. Uh, I have never actually worn it because it is too large, so I guess it's a one and done. I ordered it special at a convention because there were none on the rack that fit me. And I, I was talking with the lady who makes them, and I said, well, oh, and I was fit back then, so no excuses. And I wanted a small, she's like, no, I think a medium will fit you. Well, I got the medium, and yes, it's practically a muumuu. So I, it's been sitting for like 10 years, something like that. So it's time to say goodbye. And uh, the shorts have been replaced by my Costco shorts, believe it or not. So, all right, fair Star Trek shirt, you are always too much for me. It is time to say goodbye, but not right now. No, don't, I don't know what you were thinking, but today is his final hurrah. This does mean I'm not doing a costume change. So just be ready for that. Well, no, don't be ready for that because you're not gonna see it. And there are cakes. Wow, lemon and coconut cream cake. This is a vanilla and sour cherry cake and dark chocolate cake. Okay, based on how things are going, Carnival, you're gonna have competition. I did not anticipate the difficulty in finding the gym, okay? So I think uh, the Divina Bar is right here. I think that'll be stop number one. And then I imagine it's topside because it is going to be sail away, well, in several hours, but uh, hey, people are gonna get that party started as soon as they can. It is five o'clock in Timbuktu, so it is time to start with a margarita, of course. But the fancy glassware does mean I need to chug or um, enjoy briskly before I head topside. 
dining reservations made. I made them with the hostess that's roaming around. I did get the two specialty dining package online and here is my uh, reminder card. I don't know if you can do this in the app or there's no app online, but it was easy to take care of. I better show up otherwise, oh boy, they're gonna charge me $5. Do you see it? Because I almost didn't. Yes, uh, good thing there is a sign because I would have been probably the first casualty of the cruise. Another quick FYI for anybody sailing on MSC Divina. It is embarkation day, obviously. Why did I even say that? And I figured out the only food available is up in the uh, Calumet or Manitou buffet. And the only below decks bar that is open is the Divina bar just off the lobby. Everything else is going on uh, topside, which is where I am headed in just a moment, just a moment. And uh, that's because I still have to finish my margarita because it's in the fancy, overly fancy glass, glass. It is five o'clock in all of Iceland and uh, well, it's summer. So it is time for a tequila sunrise or I, maybe it should be the tequila sun never set. You know what? They probably have that drink somewhere. Either way, it is still a fabulous, beautiful Florida day. No clouds, it is hot. Unfortunately, I am not dressed for the pool. So hopefully this weather will hold up until tomorrow and uh, the next two days because those will be my pool and beach days. Today is uh, going to be a uh, touring day and everything. And uh, you know what? Let me, uh, let me tell you something. So far, the crew of MSC Divina is killing it. Everything that went wrong on seashore has not happened here. Embarkation was fine. The food has been pretty darn good so far, even though the buffet is the only thing open, but they don't really have a lot of venues. I, that's what I'm, I'm learning. We'll talk about that later. Uh, the drinks have been really good. I went to order my uh, tequila sunrise and the bartender's like, make it a double. I said, uh, sure, Mr. MSC is paying and they just did it. It is in fact a double tequila sunrise. So much better than um, the, I guess, overly overwatched bar staff on a certain other cruise line. Uh, too bad for them, but yes, yes, the crew here is definitely killing it. And so far, I'm having a great, great time. Um, I have not tried the internet yet. That might be its own thing. They do not have an app, but that's probably okay. So wow, yes, this cruise is getting off to a really, really great start. Pro tip, at least on embarkation day, back here in the Manitou buffet, it is much calmer than the chaos a little bit forward in the uh, Calumet buffet. Yes, compare the calm to the storm. We are joined in port today by Oasis of the Seas. Yes, the OG Oasis class. That is very repetitive. Ship, I have only sailed on Symphony and Wonder. Yes, I know that that is an incredibly bougie thing to say, but I actually do want to sail on Oasis because they have a barbecue joint on Oasis of the Seas, and I wish I knew when we'll be returning to Port Canaveral. Here we are at the De Sirona Contemporary Terrace, two of my favorite things. I wonder if they'll be able to make uh, some of my favorite drinks. We'll have to give that a try. Not now, because let me tell you, this uh, double tequila sunrise, yeah, they don't hold back. Yes, this is an infinity pool, and no, it is not filled. However, unlike uh, MSC Seashore, where they never filled the pools, here on Divina, we can expect it to be filled later tonight after the ship is underway. So it will be all good to go for tomorrow. I'm back below deck and yeah, we'll probably just have to deal with this <laughs> for the whole cruise. That uh, mineral sunblock is uh, kind of hard to get out. It's the Neutrogena mineral, came very highly recommended. It works, which is why I will keep using it at least for the rest of this cruise. And then I will try uh, some other uh, mineral sunblocks that are supposed to be clear. This was supposed to be clear. It's obviously not, but it works. That is the most important thing. And it is reef friendly. Will not kill the fishies or the corals. Uh, yes, I had to cool off a little bit. It is gloriously hot and cloudless out there and I am not dressed for that. As you saw, totally on plan, not really a fail. I think uh, on my next cruise, I am going to do the pool and stuff on embarkation day, something I've never done before. So that will be super, super fun. And yes, uh, this is the first time I've sailed with a drink package in quite a while, so I do need to uh, temper myself. I am not as young as I used to be, so, hmm, yeah, I know. It's, uh, yeah, don't get old, just 
trust me on this, don't ever, ever get old. And what do I spy with my little eye? It is my luggage that made it here, safe and sound, all in one piece. Uh-oh, now you know where I'm staying. How could I forget I'm on my way to the Aria Spa to see what I have to do to get my spa, or no, thermal suite access. I did buy it for the length of the cruise. Pretty good deal, not even $100, only four days, but still, I'm curious to compare it to uh, some other experiences, although I don't think anything can beat Norwegian Escape. We're gonna find out. Very, very nice in here. And now I'm heading out of the Aurea Spa because there was a line. <laughs> and uh, it's okay, I'll come back probably when there is no line. Yes, I'm that line averse. I'll check in for Muster, Muster Station C in the casino. So the process is you go to your stateroom, you watch the video, you dial on the phone to register that you watched the video, then you go to your assembly station. It took maybe five to 10 minutes because the call to go to the assembly station was a while after the video. They kept reminding people to dial the phone, dial the phone. I did not try going, I was doing other things. So that's on me. So Ladies this speed run once is again, a fail. At this time, yeah, everyone there she is. should now proceed to your assembly station. This is awesome. Let me tell you, not even Disney goes to this level. So plus 10 for MSC. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, and look, a she's too. even a pirate. Come on. It is almost time for a sail away. I think uh, 10, 15 minutes, which means uh, some very important business to take care of. Uh, find a bar that is not too busy. It's sail away party time for us. I don't know what time we'll actually be leaving. Oasis is still here. However, Harmony has departed. I imagine we will be, uh, hopefully we're next. Not that it matters, don't really have far to go. Kudos to the teamwork by the bar staff. I noted this on Virgin Voyages. It is very, very busy back there. So the, the waiters were ringing up the drinks while the bartenders were actually mixing the drinks. So it made everything a lot faster. So I think, uh, yeah, good on MSC, oh, good on Virgin. Okay, in the lounge for the trivia, for the sports activities, and all the parts we're gonna do in the ship. Okay, let's enjoy all together, together with this excellent cruise staff team. with it is time for dinner so I need to go back to my stateroom and do a quick change quick turnaround whatever you want to call it and uh, begin our evening I don't have anything to rant about believe it or not everything has gone absolutely spectacularly today so plus 10 for MSC so I will I will say that you know what <laughs> not having anything to complain about believe it or not is a great reason to be thankful for my problems. 